Now, once upon a time, people would meet their partners in work or in bars or nightclubs, but maybe not for long, because it seems that internet dating is taking over. And a new survey out today suggests that in 20 years' time, more than half of couples will meet online. Well, joining me now to discuss whether this means the end of old-fashioned romance is dating expert Helen Croydon and also Sophie Goddard from Cosmopolitan magazine. Good to have you both on the programme. So, Helen, me. let's start with you. 20 years' time, do you want to live in a world where we're all meeting electronically? No. Because for me, the whole buzz about meeting someone, dating, forming an attraction is, is when you meet someone in an everyday situation and then you realise you're attracted to them. And it doesn't happen instantly. It really doesn't. You know, you, you notice someone, then you wonder when you're going to see them again. And then and before you know it, you like them and you, you have butterflies when you see them. And I just don't think you're going to manufacture that online by sitting in front of someone and thinking, do I fancy you? Sophie, what do you think? I disagree. I, <laughs> I'm a recent convert to, to online dating. I've downloaded Tinder recently. Oh, and how's it going? it's going well. It's so fun. It's brilliant fun. And I think the beauty about online dating is that you've got access to so many different people and people who you wouldn't normally meet in day to day life. You know, I don't know about anyone else, but I've kind of exhausted, um, you know, friends, boyfriends, friends or male friends. Um, and the ones I haven't exhausted, I'd rather not go there. Sorry if you're watching. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it's great. You know, if you're into sport or if you're into, I don't know, whatever it is that you're into, there's a website for it. You know? But you're just meeting people. I don't think mm. you're going to be able to get that frisson that you get mm. when well, you, you just meet someone. Mm. We've had loads of message on this. Um, Helen, have a look at a couple of these. Uh, Richard Griffiths says via Facebook, I met my girlfriend through someone I know, but I first interacted with her online. I'm so happy that I met her. Thanks, Internet. And Arthur says, I met and married wife number three via the Internet. The best thing I've ever done. We also have a five-year-old daughter together. I definitely recommend it. So these are happy it's shoppers. It's lovely, but I think what they're really missing out on is, you know that fun when you, there's someone that you like and you have to go through the strategy of how do you talk to them, then finding out if they've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend and, and all that flood. It's fun. It's difficult, but it's fun. And you don't get that when you're auditioning people by going on online dates. Uh, what do you think, Sophie? It, does, think... It, it is, you know, you go about how someone looks a little yeah. bit, don't you? It yeah, does seem um, quite harsh, if nothing else. Well, yeah, you could, but I think that's real life as well, you know. And I think although it, it could be seen as fun, you know, going into a bar and not knowing whether they're attached, to me that just screams stressful and awkward. I don't want to go up to a guy and say, um, you know, fancy a drink and then, then be, you know, with someone. And I feel like online dating, it takes that awkwardness out. You know, you're all on there for the same reason. Have you ever tried it, Helen? I tried it a lot several years ago and, and I did it so much, I ended up writing a book about it. And that's why I don't want to do it again because for well, me now, the buzz... Maybe it's changed in seven years. Well, it's not... I'm sure the internet dating landscape has, but for me, the buzz is when you just meet someone that you just like and you don't know why. So, Sophie, are mm. you holding out for your husband online? What do you reckon? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't say no. I think also it's important to know it's not exclusive. You know, you can do online dating and you still be in the real world and potentially meet someone there as well. Oh, well, the best of luck. You know, let us know how you get Thank on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ladies, and have a great weekend. That's it from us. Sean's got the weekend weather next. Have a great weekend. We'll see you at five on Monday. Bye for now.